everyone, this is Sophia. I am the other half of Arf Animation. There's two of us, so don't get confused. Although in the comment section, you won't know who's saying what to you guys. So you're really chat ruling with us there. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. We are really, really grateful for the support that we've been getting. You guys are completely, completely amazing people. And I hope you enjoy what we're gonna bring you today. I think it's been a long time coming. People have been asking a lot about it. So we proudly present to you our animation tutorial series. We'd like to call it uh, Deconstructing the Animation. It's me and Amir taking you through our roles in producing our beautiful animations. So be sure to stay subscribed as you will be the first person to get the access to all this stuff. Yeah, I promise. Really. So, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how we start an animation. From an idea to drawing, and then making the drawings move. Alright, you know what, we're going to have to expand here. This is basically our process on making a PewDiePie animated. I'm going to show you right from the start, like choosing the best clips from PewDiePie's original videos. And I'll explain to you guys why we chose that clip, there's always a reason. And then I'll be taking that clip, putting it into drawing, and then leading into the storyboard process. So before we start, let me cover the tools I use for my process. I'm using a Wacom tablet. It's an Intuos 3. I've had it for a few years. It's still serving me well, so that's good. And for software, I use Photoshop CC. Sometimes I use Flash 8, but it really doesn't matter because we're just going to do sketching. So you can go for whatever you're comfortable with. Hell, you can even go with uh, paper and pencil. I always still go through that because it never <laughs> lets me down. So yeah, Amir will be showing you other softwares that he uses for his part of the tutorial. And we'll cover stuff that we use for animating in another video, a specific video about what we use. Also, I'm going to put a list in our channel description, so whenever you want to look back to it, you can look there or look out for our video. Okay guys, let's get down to business. First things first, finding a material. So let's go to PewDiePie's channel. So you see that the mighty senpai has got over 4,000 videos, I think of which he uploads two a day. Two a day, he is crazy. All these videos, it's mountains of videos. Which one do we pick to animate? So even if you have a different source of material to work with, say if you have your own story or you want to animate a fan fiction, like for us, we have to use a PewDiePie video, obviously, as a source of material. Here's what you may want to think about. When we pick a scene to animate from PewDiePie's original videos, we would like to be able to clearly imagine the movements, the composition of cartoon boots, and be able to exaggerate camera angles, his actions, facial expressions, all that kind of stuff. You will all pay. Basically, we just don't want him to stand on one side of the video, just talking at an object or person on the other side. You know, we want him to actually be in there, get in the action, not just talk. That's very boring. <laughs> Hoots himself is a very expressive person, so there are moments in his gaming videos that he's screaming in response to whatever is happening to him in the game. So it's as though he's really in the game. So those are the moments that we look for. Cured for you! The easiest scene I can think of, let me fire it up right now, is this scene from Grass Simulator is Stupid. Take this, Grass! You'll never get me alive! Infinite ammo! Slow mo shooting that grass! So when Take we looked at grass. it and we're hearing it, closing our eyes, we Infinite can just imagine ammo. how it could look Slow as an animation. 360, 360 no scope. So, as far as your base material goes, if you can find an interesting one, Choose that, and it will make your life so much more easy. If not, or if we need more ideas as to how we can make it interesting, let's go to the next part. So I'm gonna pick a clip, and I know exactly which one I want. Da -ding. 
Jodup high school. Today is my first day at high school. I can't believe I'm finally here. I'm Cutie Pie Matsya, and this is my story. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that front part of the video and translate it in an animation. Now, how I imagine the animation to be. So I'll try to make this scene as interesting as possible so I can show you how you can stretch your imagination with you know something relatively simple so that we avoid doing exactly what he does let's say you know you you draw her in the middle and then darken her and then she will appear because if it's going to be exactly the same as the original video then what's the whole point of making an animation so, here's what I imagine. Today is my first day at high school. I can't believe I'm finally here. Yeah. So, what I have imagined is her writing a diary. I know diaries are really old, old school stuff, but I think Marcia would still do something like that. Um, but let's just say if I want to make it more true and I have more time Then I will probably make it more modern day Maybe you know more internet-y like these youtubers are So you know drawing a computer screen uh, Drawing a computer screen and probably making a tumblr post With the keyboard here to establish someone's writing them but I won't go with that. I think it looks a bit too square, <laughs> literally. It looks too center. And I, I, I feel like this diary idea would be more interesting, so I'll, I'll go with that. At least there will be hand movements and stuff. Right, so I'm gonna speed up my video. Twice normal speed. So if you want to see what I do in real time, in actual time, you can slow down this video in the YouTube settings. She definitely has prettier hands than that, but I'll take it for now. Even if this is not the proper way to draw hands or anything, it's okay because it's 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 just a sketch. Just a quick just a quick sketch for your idea. Okay, so now I'm thinking just for this shot, it's a bit too long for what she's saying. It's around 6 seconds there. So what I can do is, I can do an, uh, an intro for this one. Today is my first day in high school. So let's do that. You know, so that when we get to this frame, she is writing this one, the second line. So, what we can do is, when she says, today, I like writing it down so I know what I'm doing, is first day of high school. I'm sorry my writing looks like crap, because I'm, I'm really rushing this. So, I'm imagining a teaser shot. Maybe a mirror. Wow, I'm messing everything up today. I'm really nervous about drawing live. 
but I'll get used to it. So I'll just do more of it. Uh, okay. This is the mirror. Mirror. My tiara is mirror. Okay, mirror. And uh, what I'm imagining is that this is a shot of her getting ready to go to school, but you can't see her yet. To tease, and basically she's standing in front of a mirror, probably fiddling with her hair so that there will be a little bit of movement and uh, yeah so I'll be speeding up the video twice speed So there you go. In this shot, you have her saying today is her first day. So let's arrange these frames appropriately. Cutie pie magic. And this is my story. Okay, so next idea. So what I'm having in mind is one last frame with the close-up of her face. So now we can show a little bit of her. Still not the full reveal yet. Since that can come in the title screen. As usual, I'm gonna be speeding this up to twice this speed. So if you want to see what I did in actual time, you can slow the video down. Here we go. And she says, I am Cutie Pie Martia. And this is wait no. I know I know her name doesn't have an H, but it's how she says it, so Martia. So the last frame for this intro. Uh <laughs> so now what I have in mind is that this has turned into a typical anime school plot with those uh, usual simulator game compositions so now there will be a reveal of cartoon Martia while saying the title of the video
also a rough sketch of the the infamous building a little bit of perspective okay of this obnoxious little building that they are gonna be schooled at schooled at England please remember rough quick for ideas we'll get into the technical or proper details of the drawing later Make sure you check your composition. I don't think this is the best, but at given time frame or given that I'm doing this right now, I think it's okay. It'll work. Hopefully it will get my point across. So let me show you an idea I sketched out earlier, just a few minutes ago before I started recording, and this was it for these two end frames, where she says, you know, I'm Cutie Pie Marcia and this is YouTube High School. And I thought it was still a bit square, still a little boring, can work, but I thought that there would be a cleverer idea to con um, clever way to convey this idea. So that's why I, I thought of this one. It's best if you don't put your composition to center, like your objects and everything that goes with it, so that it wouldn't look so square. So so this is definitely better in my opinion because at least she's not so in the middle of the screen. There you have it. Let's have a last look before we move into storyboard. This is the first day of high school. I can't believe it's finally here or whatever it is. I'm Cutie Pie Marzia and this is YouTube High School. So that was my whole thought process for this one. Let me show you some other examples from our previous PewDiePie Animated. Uh, a quick summary, you know, a quick look at how this has been applied. Let's see here with the good for you video. Yes. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I was especially pleased with this scene. You see, we were we were trying to figure out a way to make him react that way, react in that screaming manner to what is going on in his video. Really looking for a reason for him to scream. Like Ami was getting really frustrated and he said, you know, maybe we can make him just hold the Molotov and it just drops from his hand. And I didn't think it made any sense. So after drawing more and more and then it just clicked. So I drew this scene where, you know, he sounds like he was getting arrogant. He's throwing the Molotov in the air and then he drops it. All right, you know what? We're gonna have to expand here. I think it's about time that we kill some. Yes. Oh my god, this is going to be awesome. I dropped it! It's all in whatever you can stretch in your material. Going back to this then, now that I'm happy with it, we can push it to storyboarding. Storyboard would be the time where I clean this up, give my characters proper proportions, then develop keyframes so that it will be easier for Amir yes, later did, to did, animate did, and bring these still did, images to life. Good for you! All that process, storyboarding, backgrounds and animation is gonna be covered in our future videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video and managed to take something from it. I apologize if I'm difficult to follow. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll be happy to answer it or Amir and I will answer it in our coming videos. So thank you so much for being here. Hope to see you in the next ones. Have a great day, guys.